Hey there, friends and foes. Welcome to another Patreon exclusive episode of Back Issue Breakfast Club here on Back of the Cereal Box. I am your host, the prophet of pop culture, John Pica. You can call me Johnny. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about the trade paperback collection of the new 52 Justice League issues one through six by Jeff Johns, Jim Lee, and I'm just going to dive right into this. When the New 52 came out, fans were not happy. The New 52 was an experiment that a lot of fans really pushed against. I was one of them. I did not like the idea of the New 52. It was a complete reboot of the DC Universe, mostly, with the exception of Batman and Green Lantern. They kind of kept their stories going on, but everything else was brand new. And you'll remember in the New 52, this saw the um, the version of Superman without the trunks. Here you can see a picture of him right here. And um, this version of the Justice League had Cyborg, who was a Teen Titans character. What? And this this story, issues one through six, is a retelling of the origin of the Justice League in a contemporary form, uh, brand new, rebooted, New 52. And reading this now, what, almost 10 years later, I am surprised by how much I like it. Jeff Johns really demonstrates that he understands the DC Universe and the DC Universe characters. And he really understands what sets the Justice League apart from the Avengers over at Marvel. Because that's always the comparison made. Jeff Johns understands that the DC Universe is comprised of these godlike characters. These characters who kind of sit or stand head and shoulders above the rest of humanity. And the DC Universe treats them almost like godlike beings. And this six-issue series personifies that. None of the characters are likable, by the way. Not even Barry Allen, the Flash. None of them are likable. And um, was it Barry Allen or Wally West? Oh yeah, it is Barry Allen. Barry Allen Flash. Um, none of these characters are likable. And they all have this sense of superiority. And what brings them together is Darkseid. And Cyborg uses the boom tubes. And, you know, I, the art is, is pretty fantastic. It is Jim Lee art. It's beautiful to look at. I'm not a huge fan of Jim Lee, but he definitely has his uh, moments. And you guys can hear the dogs in the background. I apologize for them barking and running around. Apparently, I'm the only one who cares that I'm shooting video. <laughs> anyway, look, the only other person to draw Wonder Woman this well is George Perez. Jim Jim Lee nails it with Wonder Woman. Um, maybe Adam Hughes or Terry Dodson, but um, Jim Lee was. A lot of people say he was born to draw the X Men, but he might have been draw, born to draw the Justice League because he nails these characters. Jeff Johns nails these characters. This is a different Justice League. If you are used to reading, you know, the classic Justice League, the Chuck Dixon Justice League, the uh, George Perez stuff, um, even the Grant Morrison Justice League, you are in for a treat because this is different but still true to the roots of the Justice League. I mean, Jeff Johns just nails it in every way. The only thing I don't like, the only thing that I wish they... Oh, man, look at this spread with Darkseid showing up. 
Um, the only thing that I don't like is that Cyborg was a part of the original Justice League in the New 52 universe. Now, I've not read much of the DC in recent years, the DC universe in recent years. I have read Brian Michael Bendis' Justice League and was really disappointed. But um, I like this enough that I bought Volume 2, The Villain's Journey, and I'll probably pick up Volume 3 and 4 and continue reading this. I got this at Ollie's for $3.99. You can pick it up from our friends at InStockTrades.com. They are not a sponsor, but tell them back at the cereal box sent you, and maybe they'll become a sponsor. Speaking of which, you can support our programs, our shows, at patreon.com slash cereal box podcast. But of course, if you're watching this, you already know that. So share that link. Share our Patreon with people who you think would like to support our programming on Saturday morning, Wednesday nights, and our bonus episodes like Back Issue Breakfast Club. So uh, if you're looking for a good read, something that reads like a movie and is better than the Zack Snyder movie, check out Justice League by Jeff Johns and Jim Lee from DC Comics, The New 52. You'll look better for it. Until the next time, make sure you share this, tell a friend, post a comment, give us a thumbs up, a heart, an emoji. And um, until the next time, love you, mean it. We'll catch you on the back of the cereal box.